none of us are here because we're trying to do it politically. We all care about students and we want to make sure our students are critical thinkers. That's the whole point. I think a lot of times what happens is that there becomes an overemphasis in one particular area. Maybe that's the ebb and flow of science. Usually you have a consensus point of view in science and what happens is there's a minority that challenges that consensus point of view. And of course they get the blowback from the scientific community saying, well, what are you doing? This is the consensus point of view. But eventually, sometimes that minority point of view wins out and it becomes the consensus point of view. That's the evolution of science. I think that it's all about critical thinking. It's making sure our students have the right standards and, and are doing the right thing. This, this term critical thinking gets thrown around quite yeah. a bit. A good friend of mine who's an emeritus professor at Center College uh, is writing a book on the thesis is that nobody knows what that means. And I, you know, because you, you hear the word thrown around, it sounds good, but nobody can really define it. And yeah. I don't think you get any better understanding reading the science standards or any other part of the core ac academic standards uh, of what that exactly means. Now, you know, to, to some of us, that, that, that implies logic. But we don't teach logic in, in schools. Uh, we can, but, but we don't. Uh, that's something at least we can hang our hat on. But I don't know what critical thinking skills means to, to most people, if it means the same thing. What does thing. it mean to you? Well, to me, it's, it's logic. It's, it's the science of right reasoning. And there's a, there's a traditional way to do that. You can take college courses in it. It's very well defined. There are several methods of doing it. Uh, I've, I've authored three textbooks on the subject, so I'm not entirely ignorant of it myself. But uh, we, don't, we don't do that. It's something we should do, but we, we talk about it instead. We don't, we don't actually teach. Is logic. there also uh, a link uh, between <coughs> critical thinking and communication skills? that is being addressed in the next generation science standards? Well, I, I, the, the communication skills are addressed on the, the bottom part of it where you have these, these common core uh, connections, but it's not really discussed too much in it. But I, I mean, I agree that this is important. Thinking skills are important. Uh, we have a, a tech company that's in our offices where I'm a, I work with a publishing company. And uh, you walk down there and you ask him, you know, what do your people do? And number one, this is a tech company, uh, of their 25 or 30 employees, only about four of them are tech people. The rest are communications people. There are people doing customer service and marketing. And I remember, and, and I, I asked him about this. I said, so most of your people at this company are doing communications work. He said, they said, that's right. He said, the problem we have is getting kids who can think. And we don't get them in here. We have to train them in how to do that. And that's why I think these do address that to some extent, depending on how they're taught. But if you have critical thinking, to my way of looking at it, and I've tried to, to really think about this because students and everybody asks that, can you take what you've learned through these core standards? And if you're faced with a novel situation, can you apply those same performance uh, or um, science and engineering practices, way of thinking, the logic, to come up with a solution to a novel situation. That's what, you can't teach everything to a student. There's no way in the world with today's information you can get them to know everything, but you sure can tell them how to, th to think in a particular discipline, whether it be engineering, physics, life science, whatever. And they can then take what they've learned and apply it in a novel situation to come to a conclusion on that. 